we just have to be a lot better in the second half. Well, I think there was a point in the third quarter Wednesday where I think Cade had around a third of the shot attempts tonight, 33. Have you noticed him being more aggressive maybe or maybe looking to set a, a, a harder zone early in the last two, two games? Um, I, I think their coverage was a bit different. You know, he's been seeing a blitz for the most part. Tonight he didn't see a blitz. He's getting downhill. And a lot of those shots were um, there for him. They were taking away the lob. And they were taking away, for the most part, the outlet pass. So he had a lot of mid-range shots tonight. Um, but we, you know, you look at our team. We need him to be aggressive. We need him and Ji and all the guys that can score the ball. We need them to to do that with confidence. And then the team closed with a 14-4 run. I don't think the first bucket came until about four minutes yeah. in. But JD and uh, K really yeah. scored most of it down the yeah. stretch. You said you wanted to lean on them, but just to see them rise in that moment when the Wizards had all the momentum. What did you see from them yeah. just in, that, in those final six minutes? Well, like I said, we, we spent some time watching film this morning of, of the Clemson-Arizona game, and both teams played really well. But we, we were just talking about building our program and the continuity of a program like Clemson with all the players they have that have been there in that program for a few years. We, we, we said this is the start of that kind of thing. Um, so those two, J.D. and K are a huge part of what we do on both ends of the floor. I thought one of the biggest plays of the night was Cade's block in transition. That that um, was a momentum changing play. And then on the flip side, those two scoring down the stretch when we needed buckets and then Evan hits a big three that kind of sealed the game. Like we need all hands on deck for sure with our team. But those two guys in those moments, it's only going to allow for them to grow and, and get more of a connection. Money, this will be my last one. Uh, I, I want you to give us your thoughts on what it means for you and your coaches. Mm. We know this has been a very tough year. Yeah. But you've had to you know, hang in there and, and yeah. still coach the guys up yeah. and keep them playing hard. Yeah. And they played hard tonight. Yeah. Very noticeable out there. What does that do for you and your coaching staff when you it, see this? It's huge um, for us, G, because this time of the year, We've been around a long time. We, we know <laughs> what this can do to a program or any team in the NBA if you're out of the playoff race. And if you look at our team and look at the way we play, if you come to our shoot-arounds, if you come to our practices, you wouldn't know that we were out of the playoffs. And so